Ladies and gentlemen, we have Jerry here and uh, Jerry was kind enough to come over all the way uh, to Chelsea Market and share his thoughts on the music business. Uh, let's find out who's Jerry and uh, why you have that uh, credibility to talk about. Sure. Uh, I'm an artist slash producer. Okay. Um, I've worked with uh, many different artists, uh, many different companies from Nickelodeon to Universal. Um, and now I'm an independent artist focusing on my, uh, my career. Uh, what makes you uh, a professional producer, uh, uh, artist? Is that the certain number, certain amount of income or a certain amount of followers? How someone who sings at the bathroom may consider themselves also an artist. Right. Uh, how do you distinguish at which point you become, like, whether it's education or it's uh, right. uh, following or getting paid a lot of money? Like, what's distinguish? I think there's no specific answer. I think that um, an artist can be a very vast amount of things, whether, um, whether it be, you know, it's, it's a vast term from a painter to a, a sculptor, to someone who makes music. So um, as an artist, uh, there is certain credibility factors such as uh, a fan base. Would you, are there people who are interested? So, so artist who doesn't have fan base is not an artist. That's not technically true. I think, like I said, I think uh, an artist is someone who creates. So if you okay. create something um, and you're passionate about what you create, I think you yeah. are you are an artist. Um, but yeah, there is some forms of credibility that come along with it. So what, what are your credentials? Where are you uh, Why right. we, you can give advice to all those folks? Yeah, um, well right now uh, we've independently distributed uh, 4,000 copies of our last tape. Um, serious uh, numbers. Okay. Yeah, by, by ourselves, um, you know, basically out of our uh, apartment in New York. And um, I think that's something that shows initiative to not sit around and wait for someone to come along and sign you to this dream record deal you've been waiting on or this uh, this vision that you may have had and just say, I'm gonna do this myself, I'm gonna figure out how to print it up and uh -huh. how to prom promote it and market it and how to okay. establish myself. How, why did you decide to become from the artist also producer? Uh, uh, where this line uh, moved? I think um, it got to a point where I couldn't find anyone to exactly match my vision and the mm -hmm. words I wanted to say and the uh, the melodies yeah. I wanted to sing. Okay. So I had to do it myself. <laughs> if you want it done right, you, you got to do it yourself. So that's uh, my motto on why I produce all the music behind the the words. Okay. How do you feel about the internet or the music business? Um, I think the internet, in many ways, is the music business right now. Um, you know, for someone like me, it allows me to reach someone in China from America within two seconds. They hear my song. And who made the influence on you? Like who? Um, my biggest influence is anyone out there uh, that has something they're passionate about and they're pursuing that on a daily basis. The people who wake up every day and, um, and pursue their dreams, and their goals, whether or not people think they're a little crazy or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think uh, there are downfalls for how accessible music has uh, become their social media? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Um, I think there are downfalls for the major label, the corporate side of music, yes. Um, but I think there's a lot of upside for the people who are trying to build their own brands and their own companies. Um, it allows us a huge platform to reach millions of people. So ups, upside and downside uh -huh. at the same time. Okay. Uh, what you, uh, made you start uh, to, do, uh, to make music? I think the first time I heard music, um, it, it gave me such an amazing feeling that I, I had to do something about that feeling and that turned into me making my own music. That, that music I heard made me feel so different than anything else I've ever experienced that I, uh, I had to put my own spin on it, you know, and do it myself. Uh, what's your favorite part of performing live? I'd say the fact that for that moment in time, um, everything just stops and I could truly live in that moment. I, I'm not thinking about the future or past events. I'm thinking about the right now and, uh, and performing, How giving my best. How did you first begin producing? Um, basically, uh, a lack of uh, finding good producers. So I wanted to always get my words out and I, I didn't have anything to gut it on. Um, so I learned how to play guitar, I learned how to play piano and um, just got in the studio and mixed it all together. 
Uh, what is your favorite part of pro uh, being a producer? I think the idea of taking something from silence, a room with nothing in it, and leaving that room and having something people could dance to uh -huh. or even generate feelings, you know, uh, too. So just taking silence and making it some, some sort of energy. <laughs> But do you like working with the outside producers? I do, I do. Um, you know, I've worked with uh, Charles Hamilton, who's been in the studio with Eminem and uh, Dr. Dre and, um, You know, so many, so many people I've grew up listening to. Um, I just did something with him, and yeah, it's always nice to collaborate and get someone else's uh, see, feelings. With, with whom else would you like to work with? I Love would really Ray. like to work with uh, Will I Am, Black Eyed Peas. Uh, I'd love to to work with Pharrell, um, and and put something together. Um, I would say Pharrell, my top, my top person. Uh, we just disassembled here our uh, voiceover uh, studio. It's as you've seen, it's in the production, right. you know, being remodeling. Uh, but uh, maybe you can come next time and we can record a couple of uh, songs in our work. Uh, Amazing. I would love I, that. I will also produce in a couple of other places like uh, Brick Art Media Center okay. so we, and we'll, like, uh, a few other places. So we can bring like a piano. Yeah. And, uh, I actually worked like, uh, animation. Uh, I worked on uh, the trailer song for Spongebob. I did with uh, D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Um, that's yes, serious that's, work. Yes, that's my first, uh, my first mixtape, my first album. Um, a lot of hard work, sweat and tears went into that. So, How do you distribute? We, we use uh, mainly the internet um, and what we do is we have our fans order online um, and we take every address and we ship them out ourselves so we get the wow. box of thousands of CDs into our garage and we literally so mail them out. You don't do the digital? The, we do, we the do. Digital, At the same time, yeah, we sell on iTunes. Is digital cannibalizing your uh, actual sales? No, uh, actually we think that with our fans in particular and for everybody it's different, they love the uh, organicness of the CD and, um, and I think it's important for them. So that's kind of where we separate where We took something from the past and kind of made it cool again and made it desirable and said, people really want that tangible copy. Um, in, in, in our case, I don't know if that's the case for everybody, but uh, it seems to work for us. So what we do is we, we send the CDs and we also have it available, iTunes, Spotify, um, you know, Apple Music, all that stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have more questions for Jerry, uh, maybe you can email and write, uh, call us and write us. Hopefully Jerry will agree to come back and answer some of your questions uh, next time. <laughs> and uh, it could be a productive, uh, useful information for you there as well. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. When we do the next one, the, when I play the character Mr. Gray,